guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl michelle renee and i create beauty lifestyle and vlogs here on my youtube channel if you are new please hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you'll be notified when i do upload a video and also give this video a thumbs up if you know you are a fan of rihanna just give this video a thumbs up if you are a fan of Rihanna like I am. So, if you can tell by the title of this video, I know y'all probably tired of all the Fenty Beauty powder foundation reviews, but of course, your girl had to pick up the foundation and I just had to come on here to give my two cents on what I think of the powder as well as a wear test for you girls. So, I am oily to combination and just basically means that I have, my skin is oily in some places and dry in some places. So my T-zone is mainly oily and then the rest of my face is like, I, I would say normal um, to dry. Not, not really dry, but I would say normal. But yeah, I wanted to try this foundation out. And I think that this this foundation came right on time because if you're like me, um, I love wearing makeup and we are in the times right now where we all have to wear a mask and I know for me I'm like uh I'm gonna put on a foundation it's gonna get all over the mask like it's kind of a waste of my liquid foundation so Fenty came right on time with this powder foundation I love a powder foundation actually because it's just I don't know it's easy to wear if you're oily powder foundation is this is for us this is for us so yeah so I picked up the shade 410 um I didn't go into the store I cheated and I watched Andrea Renee's video I had to see someone's review prior to because she came out just in time with that video because I was like okay when I saw the release I'm like yes 420 is in my cart because I wear 420 in the Foundation, the liquid foundations and Andrea Renee were similar skin tones and so she was like no girl if you for if you 420 you gonna need to pick up 410 and that's what I did so this is the packaging of course um very nice and sleek with everything else um that Fenty has released um it has the shade right there um it does come with a mirror so that is a mirror right there and then this is the shade and then there is people keep calling this a mirror i guess it is a mirror but when i look at it it's more i wouldn't say this is a mirror but you can see yourself <laughs> look i'm contradicting myself i wouldn't say that this is a mirror but i guess and then it does come with a little sponge which I never really use, but um, I guess if you have, if you carry this with you and you're out and about and you need to like pat the oils on your skin, then that is great. So I am extremely happy about this. I'm thinking, I need to think about this and I need to order it because 2021, 20, I'm on a no spin all across the board. I have to use up all the makeup that I have before I buy anything else. So I'm thinking about getting 420 because I'm technically still in my winter shade um, when it comes to foundation, even though I rarely change my foundation. If anything, if I have a lighter foundation, then I will, you know, add a little bit of uh, contour color and I'm good, but, um, I'm thinking about getting 420. But anyways, I am rambling. Um, if you guys would like to see this foundation, this powder foundation by Fenty, you know, if you like to see it in the works, continue to watch this video. Oh, did I mention that I use every single product I use is Fenty? except the lip liner i don't know if fenty has a lip liner do they i need to order one because yeah but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video again i will be doing a wear test so i'll be checking in with you guys to let you know how the foundation is holding up 
I don't think that I'm going to go back out into the elements. If I do, again, I will check in with you to show you how this powder foundation is holding up. Yeah, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and jump into the makeup look. So again, it is a New Year's Eve and we're getting ready to go from the kitchen to the living room because unfortunately, um, nothing is going on over here. And I just want to try out the foundation of course um while we're inside Woo! little flappy flap all right so i'm gonna speed through everything else um but for the most part as you saw earlier we have used all fancy products and as far as the makeup products go i believe everything that i'm going to use of course is fancy except for do i have a lip pencil does fancy even have lip lip pencils i don't know but we're gonna go ahead i'm gonna speed through everything and then once we get to the powder foundation i will come back Okay, so I know you guys have seen so many people review the shade 410 and that is what I have today. 
Um, I normally shade 420 in both of the liquid foundations, the soft matte, as well as the hydrating um, foundation. Um, so I did pick up 410. Um, of course, this is the packaging. You guys, I'm sure, have seen it. Um, so this is a Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation, and it says that it is um, long wear, light as air, um, and it has full coverage with a non-cakey soft matte finish. So I'm really excited about this foundation because, as you guys know, we are wearing we're we are in the days of face mask. We have to wear a face mask and. Um, you know, we have days, well, I know that I personally have days where I really don't want to wear a lot of foundation. So I'm very excited about this. So of course, um, you guys know it does come with a, um, a sponge. Um, I never really use those even with my MAC powder. I don't use it. Um, it does have a mirror here, which is like a regular, I guess, mirror. And then there is a another mirror there i wouldn't say that, that the back side is a mirror like some people say i mean i guess it is but it's not i guess it is maybe i guess um <laughs> but yeah so here is the powder it is so pretty so of course what i'm going to do um i've already used my primer of course so i have quite or own quite a few of the fenty beauty uh, Pro Filter Instant Touch Concealers. Um, and I decided in my most recent order to get 385. Why? I don't know. I just want to see the difference. So um, I am going to add this to my under eyes.
Hopefully you guys can see me because I could have sworn that the lighting has changed. So I do apologize about that. It's very gloomy and rainy here in Georgia. So I'm going to go into the powder. Um, so um, from looking at all the reviews, you can use a brush, you can use a sponge. Um, so I think that I'm going to use the Marc Jacobs foundations brush. So we're going to do a little pat, 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 pat. All right, so I have the foundation on. Um, let me look into the mirror. So it's definitely coverage there. I love a light coverage when it comes to foundation. I really don't care. I like for my natural skin to peek through. I've always been like that. Um, yeah, it's there. <laughs> um, yeah, it's there. I think I love the coverage, the color, I should say. I definitely want to get um, 420 for um, when the weather changes. So that is that. Um, let me go ahead and do the rest of my face and I shall be back.
All right, you guys. So this is a completed look using the uh, Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Powder Foundation in 410. I don't know what is going on with the lighting. It's pretty cloudy out here and I'm sitting in front of the window. Um, I don't know, I just couldn't get my lighting right. But this is the completed look. Um, it is 325 p.m. Um, and I just wanted to check in, not check in, but show you the completed look. I love the, I love it. I love how light it feels on the face. Um, I love how using basically all of the Fenty products, how everything works together. Um, I'm really looking forward to trying this powder out with the liquid foundations, I guess as a setting powder. Um, but I love it. I love how the eyes came out. I just did like a, you know, it's New Year's Eve. We got to get in the festive spirit, even though we're not going anywhere. But um, yeah, I love how I have everything nice and bright under the eye. I love it. Um, and yeah, so I will check in with you guys in a few hours to let you know how everything is holding up. Um, so I didn't apply any like I guess setting setting spray I only use the what it do makeup refreshing spray um, from Fenty so that's supposed to like refresh the makeup so I'm not using any setting spray um, yeah and everything I used is basically Fenty except the lip liner I use the MAC lip liner but everything else was or is fancy and the lighting is just crazy so i will check back in with you in a few hours and we'll do like a update um i don't plan on blotting or anything or doing any touch up until the end of the video so i will again check back in with you then Hey y'all, welcome back. I am just checking in with you guys. It's about six o'clock. That clock is a little bit slow. Yeah, that clock is slow. It's about six o'clock. And I just wanted to check in with you. So it's been about two hours, two and a half hours since I applied the Fenty foundation powder. And I'm noticing everything still looks good. Um, of course, I've eaten, so my lip products are gone, but it's all about the complexion. Um, I do notice that some of my natural oils are peeking through. Um, I don't think I prime properly in my T-zone, but that's okay. I just wanted to check in with you. Um... Yeah, so you guys can see what I am looking like. See, you can see. Let me turn turn a little bit. You can see the oils um, are starting to peek through, but I don't mind. Um, it's not horrible. So, yeah, just wanted to do a quick check in with you. Um, the mail carrier just came, so I am going to check the mail again. I'm not going out anywhere, so. Um, I'm not wearing a mask or anything, so I'm just in a house. I'm going to go check the mail and I will check back in with you guys in a few or more hours so I can give you my final review on the Fenty Pro Filter Powder Foundation. Hey guys, I am back with my final update. It is about eight o'clock. Again, that clock is, is it fast or is it slow? No, it's a little bit slow. So it's a little bit after eight. Um, and this will be my final check-in, letting you guys see the results of the wear test of the Fenty powder foundation. I did go ahead and blot just a little bit. Um, 
no additional oils had came through except what you guys saw in my first check-in, which was like right here. So that was like the only place that I blotted, like right here. Um, you can see I have oils on my nose that are coming through. And then maybe some oils over there. As I said, I don't think when I applied my primer that I applied enough of it in the places that I get oily because I do have combination oily skin, mainly in my T-zone. And I did reapply some of the lip balm just a little bit. Uh, I'm not going anywhere. As I stated, it is New Year's Eve and the fireworks have already started over here in my neighborhood. But yeah, so would I repurchase this foundation if I were to run out? I would. Um, I love it. Um, I'm thinking about, well, maybe when I do run out, I will get 420 as well. But in the meantime, as of midnight, <laughs> I am not purchasing any more makeup until I run out. I use everything that I have. But yeah, so um, it gets four stars for me. Um, I would suggest you pick it up, you know, even if it's just something, if you keep it in your purse and, you know, you forget to put some makeup on or, you know, you want to look halfway decent i would say yes um i love the fact that it's versatile um i guess on how you apply it so if you want to use just a if you want like a light coverage you're able to just change just simply change your brush if you want a more packed on or a more for coverage change the density of your brush um i do love that um, I also think that if you have dry skin, you're able to use this foundation. Um, I would say maybe use a hydrating primer. And then when you finish uh, the application, maybe use a dewy mist. Um, yeah, so I, I honestly think that it's versatile enough for everybody. Um, yeah, so again, this gets four stars from me, two thumbs up. Uh, yeah, I love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, again, it's new, it's new year's Eve. So if you are going out, please be safe. Um, wear your mask, wash your hands and remember to practice social distancing. Um, I pray that everyone, you know, if you're healthy, I pray that you continue to be healthy. Um, my thoughts and my prayers go out to the ones who are affected by um, what's going on in the world today. Um, you know, my thoughts and prayers are with you. I wish you nothing but love, peace, and prosperity in the new year. And just everyone, please be safe. And I will talk to you in, um, talk to you in another video. See you next year.